Bismillahirrahman Rahim. In this video, uh, we'll discuss balanced delta delta connection. And if you recall, we had all earlier also we had discussed this that in case of a delta, the phase voltage and line voltages are same. So this is the phase voltage and between two lines is the line voltage. So phase voltage and line voltage are same. And in case of a delta load, the phase current and line currents are not same. Why? This is the line current. It is coming and dividing into two parts. And this is phase current. This is phase current. So that is why line current is not equal to phase current. So keep this point in mind. Okay, we start with the example, uh, a balanced delta connected load having uh, load impedance this given is connected uh, with a positive sequence generator VAB 330 0 degrees. So this is given, voltage is given and the impedance is also given. We have to calculate the phase current of the load and the line current. So this is a very easy, you, you can see this voltage is also here, is also here and is also here. So we know the voltage V and we know the impedance, therefore we can calculate IAB which is the phase current. So let's see, given VAB 330 and Z delta is given. So from here we can calculate phase current IAB is VAB over Z which is equal to 330 angle 0 divided by impedance and 330 is although v small ab but they are same v small ab is equal to v capital ab and so solving this we can find the current 132 point uh, sorry 13.2 uh, angle 36.87 ampere now that we have found out one of the phase currents, we can very easily find the other two phase currents without going into calculation, just changing the angle. So adding 120 with 1 uh, and minus 120 with uh, 1 and plus 120 with the other. So IBC will subt uh, add minus 120 and ICA will add plus 120 or minus 240 whichever you prefer. Anyway, so when we add minus 120, this will become minus 83. And when we add plus 120 with this, this will become 156. So these are the three phase currents. And now we have to find the line current. Again, for a balanced system, there is a very easy formula. Our relation between line current and phase current, that is this relation. So we'll use this, that the line current is equal to under root 3 phase current minus 30 degree. So simply we'll add this and putting in the value of AB, we get the answer of IA to be 22.86 minus as angle 6.87. Here also since we have found one of the line currents, the other two line currents will be 120 phase difference. So minus 120 in one case and plus 120 in other case. So this is our final answer. Now let's solve a practice problem 12.4. It's similar to the previous one except that in this case uh, the line current is given instead of a phase voltage. This is the load impedance and then this line current is given. We have to find the phase current IAB and also the voltage across this which is VAB, V capital AB. So uh, we'll apply this formula line current is equal to under root 3 phase current angle minus 30. So from here we'll uh, calculate the phase current first. So this was the line current formula in this case and from here phase current IAB will be IA divided by under root 3 angle 30. IA value is given, so we plug in that. And so our phase current IAB will be 5.55 angle 65 degree. Now the other phase currents uh, you, you can easily calculate uh, by just adding 
120 and minus 120 uh, angles so uh, but in this case only IAB have to be calculated so we just uh, stop here and the next we calculate VAB and we know that the voltage here VAB is IAB into Z delta so IAB into Z delta IAB we have calculated Z delta is given and so we can directly calculate the value by going into the complex mode and if you still don't know how to use the, the complex mode I have a video in that using calculator in complex mode then if you learn the technique you can directly calculate the value okay so this is the answer now uh, we'll go to and chapter problem 12.19 and uh, for the delta delta circuit we have to calculate phase and line current so this is the circuit given which apparently looks to be very very difficult but if you just uh, match with the known circuit for delta delta then things will look easy this is the uh, phase current one of the uh, sorry phase voltage one of the phase voltages and these are the three impedances so these three impedances this is in delta mode and then IAB so what we have to do here is we have to calculate the phase current and line current so it's again very simple uh, we know this voltage which is same as the voltage across this because there is no other impedance in between and so if we know this voltage VAB then dividing with the impedance we can calculate IAB and from IAB we can calculate IA so let's see IAB is VAB over Z delta and VAB we can write 173 and 0 because this is 173 so VAB here will also be 173 remember this is V small AB and this is V capital AB so V capital AB same dividing by the impedance this is the answer and the other two again you can very easily calculate by adding 120 and uh, subtracting 120 angles I'll not go into that uh, next we uh, just calculate the line current so this using this formula IA will be under root multiplied by this and angle 30 so 547 multiplied by under root 3 will be 9.474 and the angle minus 18 and minus 30 added will be minus 48. And you can again calculate the other two uh, line currents also by changing the uh, phase angle by plus 120 and minus 120. So these are the answers you can just verify your work. Finally, uh, we'll do a problem, 12.22 and chapter problem. This apparently looks slightly difficult and that is why I picked it. And the concept here is that the load, one load is delta connected and the other load is uh, Y connected. So for the combined load, we have to find the currents IA, IB and IC. There is also uh, line impedance given here and the voltage source is also in delta mode. So here is my observation that whenever there is a line impedance present in the circuit like this one here, this one here, it is easier to convert the circuit into YY form and then solve for one phase. So uh, if you convert this into Y and if you convert this also into Y then it will be easier. So let's see how to do first of all the source voltage this is the delta connection and this is y connection and the relation between delta and y is v line is equal to under root 3 v phase angle 30 now remember a b is actually line voltage so this is line voltage or line to line voltage whereas this one is just a phase voltage so from here we will calculate v phase or v a n by using this formula so V A N will be V line divided by under root 3 minus 30. V line is 440 angle 0. I didn't write angle 0. You should write it. 
and solving we get Vn to be 254 angle minus 30. So this was the voltage source. Now let's see the uh, load. Now load this is already in Y. So we need to convert the deltas into Y. So let's call it ZY2 and for that we'll write Z delta over 3. So Y and delta relation I hope you remember that ZY is equal to Z delta over 3. So Z delta in this case is 12 minus J15. We divide that by 3. So ZY2 will be 4 minus J5. So now we have uh, two uh, set of uh, impedances. This was the original one. This is after converting the delta. So these are now in uh, parallel. So we'll solve them in parallel. Uh, next slide. Okay, so we were here and now we'll solve this first of all. So these two are in parallel solving. We get this value 5.72 and now we can draw the all uh, Y circuit which is like this. The source is represented here and the combination of the two parallels will give you this value 5.72 and we keep the line impedance as the, it is. And now we separate just one phase to solve. So we have separated one phase and from here now we can very easily calculate the line current which is this voltage divided by these two impedances. So line current will be VAN divided by ZL plus ZY and putting in the values this says I alpha. And here also to calculate I B and I C, we just add minus 120 and add plus 120 angle. So adding minus 120 with this, we get this uh, angle and adding plus 120, we get 91.63. So this is the answer. So I hope this gives you an understanding as to how we can easily solve this type of problem if you go step by step. Thank you.